guys welcome back uh, I'm gonna uh, do today uh, is five things for those special people you know what's coming up Mother's Day and um, I thought I'm gonna do my video a little bit different this time I'm gonna do just short little explanation on each one and you know fast forwarding and show you the steps so if you can let me know in the comments and uh, let me know if you like it better this way um, uh, for those of you that keep coming back, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, thank you for dropping by and I hope you consider subscribing and uh, keep watching and I hope uh, anything, ideas, uh, uh, anything that I'm doing helps you or inspires you and, um, and you keep coming back. So thanks for everybody for your uh, likes and uh, support and uh, I hope you enjoy. So let me uh, get started and put everything in front of you and uh, let's get DIYing. And I've got some new tools. Um, you know, if you saw my um, video with the uh, lantern, uh, the crate in uh, barrel dupe, uh, there was a lot of chopping and cutting. And uh, you know, what's funny is that I even had a you know, a, a paper cutter downstairs uh, that I didn't even think of trying with the uh, craft sticks. It might have gone through. You know, I get so focused. I just uh, totally forgot about it. And I um, just started using the, um, this, and I was like so focused on getting the job done. I don't think it would have worked on uh, that, um, I forget what kind of wood it is uh, that I bought on Amazon. I don't think it would have worked on that. But on if you're going to do it and you're using craft sticks, um, you might want to try a paper cutter because it might have gone through that. Um, and uh, But I thought enough is enough because if I'm going to be doing a lot of little wood crafts and things like that, I, I don't want to obviously use big machines that my husband has in the garage or anything like that because uh, I'm not there yet to use uh, big pieces of woods from Home Depot. So I looked on Amazon for small, uh, you know, I have the miter saw and things like that with the little box, but I don't want to use that here. So I uh, searched on Amazon for uh, small saws or things like that and lo and behold I found a couple of things that are so cute so wait till you see them and I can't wait to use them so stay tuned I might use one today because one of the project uh, needs some wood so uh, let's uh, wait to, I'm so excited to use them um, so stay tuned and I'll show you those. Be right back. Okay guys, so um, the first one is something as simple as these beautiful candles. Uh, okay, so there's this one. Um, uh, this one I got at the store at uh, Walmart. Uh, you can find them online. I'm sure you can find these anywhere. Uh, this is a uh, Home Trends uh, Magnolia and Mulberry. Now, um, oh my God, it smells so good. <laughs> um, there's these ones. They come in different uh, scents and different colors, okay? So you can go with color decor or your favorite scents or favorite colors of your uh, mother. And there's this one. Uh, oh my God, this is gorgeous. Now, this one I saw online. And... Um, this one um, I got to go with my living room. Uh, I'm not gifting it because uh, um, my mother's passed away, but you could see if this is still online. And I plan to do something with the tops. Now you could leave it as it is if you end up finding this one. Um, but I'm doing, you know, um, different tops. Okay, so you can, if you have the mirrored uh, glass tops, uh, this one I found at Home Depot. I got a couple for a different project, so I have an extra one of this. I'll open it up in a second. And you're going to need, uh, the design I'm doing is, you know, uh, uh, 
one on a pedestal, uh, those candle pedestals at the dollar store. Okay, I'll show you what I'm going to pl uh, plan to do with the bottom. And uh, just, I think you've seen me in other projects, just I've never said it, but I always like to put uh, the faux velvet at the bottom. Uh, two reasons. Um, I have a lot of mirrored um, furniture, so I always like to put this to not scratch if I put it on uh, furniture. And the other reason, it just makes it look so expensive when you put this on the bottom. So that's a little tip. Get yourself any kind of, even if you bought felt at uh, the dollar store or anything and you glue it at the bottom, this is self-adhesive. But if you put that at the bottom, it looks really expensive. That's a little tip for you. Okay, so uh, there's that with that one. And this one, I'm planning to make the bottom. You can leave it as it is. It's gorgeous. I'm just giving you ideas. So uh, you'll need uh, this little candle holder uh, from the dollar store. It's dual-sided. You know, it's got a hole at the bottom and a hole at the top for candlesticks. And um, four of these votive ones. Now, these I bought from Amazon, a box of 12, okay? So I plan to do something else with these. They're uh, Alvira brand or whatever. Um, so these are from Amazon, but I'm sure you can find these anywhere. So uh, there's a design I plan with that. You could do it the same way, or maybe something will come to you to do it differently. So there's four of those. Now, I'm going to paint them a different way. Um, you may not have it, but um, um, food coloring can work. This is um, resin coloring. Um, and uh, anyway, you can spray paint, leave them as is, uh, whatever your heart desires. So um, I think I've shown you everything. And the other embellishments you've seen, you can get them anywhere. Uh, mirrored tiles, little stickers, uh, things like that. And uh, you can do what you wish from, uh, you know, embellishment. Um, so I think I went through everything quickly. So let's get DIYing. So stay tuned.
Okay guys, so this project, I've been meaning to do it since Christmas and I, um, I thought it's about time. Now I'm going to be honest, it's uh, an idea that I got from Michaels. Uh, this is, um, I didn't pay, now it says here $39.99 Canadian. Um, I, it's a Christmas crate. I did not pay $39.99. I think it was after, um, it was on sale. And to be honest, I don't even remember what I paid, but definitely not $39.99. Um, so I so picked this up and I thought I was going to take it apart and do something for the kitchen. And then I also saw, um, I'm going to give props to, uh, home talk and they did a version for the kitchen and then sparked my inspiration. They did one with cutting boards, not ceramic. They did true cutting boards like wood. So, um, one of my uh, trips to Dollar Tree, I saw these and I thought these are really cute. And I just wanted a small one to put, you know, salt and pepper um, on the table and some napkins. And I picked these up. They're $4 from uh, Dollar Tree. No, these are Dollarama. So, pardon me, Dollarama, $4. And um, I think this is a regular item. I'm not sure. So I picked this style, they have different styles, eat well, laugh often. And it's got a touch of red because my theme in my kitchen is gray and uh, my appliance, you know, my uh, 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 table stuff and things like that are uh, not my stove, but uh, you know, um, appliance on the counter are red. So I thought, let me grab these. And now that it's Mother's Day, this is a great option. If you want to try this, I'm going to do my version of it. So here comes the tools that I bought. They're so cute. So I don't know which one I'm going to use uh, because I'm going to have to, uh, I'm not going to use theirs. I'm going to use, um, the Michaels for uh, something else, but I'm going to use either this Dell that I got off of Amazon I had in my stash or the Dollar Tree ones. Um, cause these ones that I had are pretty thick. So, um, I'm going to have to cut it down to size. Once you see me put it together, you'll see why. And this I picked up at, uh, party city and uh, it, they were um, on sale or something. So, and this is obviously from Dollar Tree, $2. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can put it as size. So you're gonna see how I'm gonna put it all together. So my big reveal, <laughs> let me put these aside. My big reveal is I can't cut. <laughs> any more wood and I as I said I'm not going to go into the garage and use my husband's big saws or anything like that or the miter saw that I have so I got this four inch table saw um let me turn it around off of Amazon oh my god it's so cute I hope it works but it had good reviews and um i think it's 220 volt 90 watts um so i don't know if i'm going to use this one to cut no i don't need this one for the dowels because this is just if you're cutting wood this way okay let me put this aside <laughs> then i found this one oh my god this is so cute This one is a mini cutoff saw. Um, I can't remember the brand. Um, I got this one off of Amazon. And so this one only lifts so many inches. And you go like that. Now, where was this when I was doing the 
a crate and barrel, you know, oh, I was slicing and slicing and slicing. And uh, I'm sure that this would have come in handy when I was doing all those pieces that I had to cut. And, you know, uh, my right hand, uh, I'm right-handed, but I've been using uh, my left a lot. My right-handed is um, uh, got some nerve damage. So I definitely am going to be uh, trying this out in this one. Uh, so let me get started. Let me show you how this works. Um, and I will show you how I'm going to put this one together. Now this one is easy. And um, for the inside, I'm going to paint this white. Uh, this one here. I'm going to rip off the label, paint it white. And as I said, um, my decor is red. So um, I'm thinking of putting leather on the inside because, you know, uh, you might get a dirty, some salt falls or something like that. So I like to give it a nice white. Um, uh, so it's easier to clean. I don't know. I'm thinking about that. I'm going to see after I paint it. So um, let me see when I put it together. So let's get started. Be right back.
guys. Excuse the nails you saw me painting. What's Mother's Day without flowers, right? And a nice little vase. So uh, I wanted to do uh, a little unique one. And um, I saw an email uh, for an ad of a store and uh, it got me thinking um, of a different style. And I uh, thought, how can I create something um, unique? And I, you'll need foam, those foam rings, number one. Okay. Um, I got this here to show you the ones that have the three. Um, you'll need the ones with the three sizes because you need the little baby one for this. And you need a couple. Um, another thing you're going to need. Um, I want to cover the lips, so you'll need one of these. They're like those little candle cylinder jars. Now, if you got some that are empty, go ahead and use this, but uh, it's got to fit that foam or maybe go to the next size. Okay, and then um, I found this foam rope, and anything that I kind of see, can I use that for something? I just grab it. So, uh, and I thought, I don't know what I'm going to need it for, but here we go. I need it for something right now. Uh, I want to kind of wrap this lip uh, just to kind of make it look um, uh, full and not looking like a jar. Okay, that's that. Um, and um, you're going to need now uh, spray paint because I'm going to spray paint it. Uh, spray paint and foam. Uh, is like uh, oil and vinegar. It doesn't, it doesn't go very well. So uh, you need some kind of coating to put on here. Um, I mean, there's many different things people put on here. I'm going to use modeling paste. Uh, some people put the Mod Podge. You can put anything just to kind of seal it so that when you put the layer, uh, so when you spray paint, there's a layer underneath. Uh, I mean, you saw me do my little Christmas trees and had that little uh, painter's uh, paste on it. Um, so just anything so that it adheres to something, not foam, because it's kind of kind of like gonna burn, burn on it and peel on it. So um, uh, what else can you use? Uh, even uh, um, uh, silicone, um, you know, the sealant, uh, um, drywall paste, anything, uh, caulking. So uh, just as long as it has some sort of uh, base on it. Okay, uh, so let me get started and uh, put this thing together for you. So stay tuned.
Hey guys, so this next one I'm sure you're going to recognize. It's those um, boxwood poodle trees. Now, I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. I've mentioned this to people because when I bought them, they're like, what the heck are you talking about? So, you know those, uh, well, they come either in two balls or three balls. They're called, that's what the... Uh, uh, store told me they were called boxwood poodle trees um so uh they uh come two or three as i said and um i'm gonna do two and i got these uh at uh dollarama uh these were four bucks and uh they traditionally come in you know the little buckets so i was contemplating and do it either in this Ikea one. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that today. Uh, so uh, this came in silver or gold. And um, then I saw this beautiful one, um, quilt, quilt look one, uh, at uh, Dollarama, three bucks. It's a nice bigger one. And then I walked across the room and, yeah, I found those, uh, you recognize them if you saw my video that I did, uh, the Lantern um, uh, Crate and Barrel Dupe. And I was like, these remind me of the box that I bought, the self-watering box that I bought from Costco that I put my um boxwood uh trees in so i'm like well i'm gonna put these to good use and look i'm gonna make the little container for them so they're a little bit small and i'm not about to uh make some more layers so i'm gonna be creative and try to make it a little bit higher and um I'm going to put this together and you need another little box from uh, the Dollar Tree, one of those little crates and some tumbling blocks. I call them jingle blocks sometimes, but they, they, I think they call them tumbling blocks. Um, and you've seen me use these before, the bamboo sticks. I bought them on Amazon, uh, a bunch of them, they come together. I'm going to have to probably size this down. So. Oh yes, and I bought these from Amazon instead of the Dollar Tree, um, just a bulk that way, uh, just have them on stock. So um, that's it. Well, that's the kind of stuff I need. I may embellish with some greenery that I have. I don't know yet, but uh, let me uh, put this together for you and uh, let's get started. So stay tuned.
Hey guys, hope you like the project so far and I'm down to the last one, the best for last. And I had, um, you know, uh, I always have these little stickers or little wood letters. Uh, I bought a Cricut Joy back in uh, uh, you know, Black Friday or Boxing Day of last year. I still haven't opened it up to practice with it and do all that weeding or whatever they call it, you know, putting it on transfer paper and then um, weeding it off or, you know, uh, peeling it off. And I got to get cracking on doing this and practicing it. Um, there's so there's an app or something where you could uh, download images and things like that. So I got to spend some time. Uh, I've just been going project after project after project, um, trying to build things. I just really need to get cracking on this. So I uh, might even do a video on that once I get familiar with it. So I... Uh, Definitely will uh, post you on this. So for uh, Mother's Day, I um, found this at uh, Dollar Tree and uh, it's very cute. Uh, but you know, you want to, uh, if you want to give it a little bit more oomph, uh, it's just got a, a sawtooth uh, hanger at the back uh, area for the picture. and. Uh, you know, it's a little bit scratched on the mom at the bottom. So I'm going to embellish it a little bit. And then I thought uh, to give it a little bit more grandeur, I uh, was looking around. I'm sure maybe you could find one at the store. But then when I uh, brought it at home, I thought, well, how can I make it look a little bit more, uh, give you an idea how you can make it look a little bit more, uh, you know, uh, larger. So I had this, oh, sorry about all the glitter. I had my little tub with glitter that I'm going to use and it dropped on here a bit. So I had this, um, it's got, I had a broken glass and I got it years ago. I was going to do something with it uh, from Winners. It's only 11 bucks uh, regularly. I can't even see it's on top of the sticker. But anyway, um, it's a it's a um, shadow box. It's really deep. So I'm thinking I'm going to show you my idea of uh, how I can incorporate that in here. And I've got some ideas of uh, what to put in here. So um, if you want to grab one of this, uh, it's just got uh, same thing. You can hang it, and it's got a backing. There goes the glitter. I uh, tried to get it all out, but it's in the corners and I didn't want to rip out the cardboard until I showed you it. And um, embellish it with stickers. And I had these still from Valentine, so I'm going to be uh, using the hearts and whatever. And then here's these uh, from the uh, Dollar Tree mirrored heart tiles I found. And... Uh, I found these gorgeous flowers from Dollarama, three bucks, well, 325, whatever it is, but beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. So got an idea with these. So let me get started on this and uh, show you um, how you could uh, make a simple uh, frame into something really beautiful um, and memorable. So be right back. <laughs> 